Let's say, make sure you're subscribed. Like. And, and subscribe. You know, one of my pet peeves is going to be being spoken over. <laughs> That's not what I was going to say. Subscribe, I, but also make sure your, your notifications are on so you get that word up. Hey, hello, and welcome to today's edition of The Uncomfortable Couch. <laughs> we're back this uh, week, and then we're going to talk about pet peeves, because everybody has pet peeves, and more so with people that we spend a lot of time with, and Matt and I spend a lot of time together. A lot. And when you spend a lot of time with some people, somebody, significant other, well, you tend to get annoyed at their little ticks. All right, so how did you come up with your pet peeves? What does blue do that really irritates the sh me? I mean. Breathe? I don't, I don't, I mean, honestly, did it take that long to come up with this? <laughs> <laughs> no. Of us? no, but did you like, you just go through your day and think? I started in the morning and I started thinking about what's, what happens in our morning routine. Then what happens after that? I started, uh, yeah, I kind of went through the day. And then... And you know what? Yeah. I don't know if I pushed record. But I'm so... My back hurts and I'm so so comfortable right now. Will you get up and look? Just kidding. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> this is something that you do. And you do it... Not every time I ask you something, but often. And that is... You reply what to something I ask that you very clearly heard, but it's like an automatic response, what? And then if when I refuse, because I'm so stubborn, I refuse to repeat it, and then you answer the question. If no. You heard it. No. I it's already on the defensive. Because that used to be something that I did a, I did a lot, yes. Used to be. But then, because you've like complained about it so much over the years, I've retrained myself to stop and think, Okay, did I hear what he said and answer it? But you know what? That's going to lead to my exactly, which is my first one on here, which is speaking from the other room while I'm in the middle of doing something and then getting annoyed when I don't understand what you said. For example, this morning, I was in the bathroom <laughs> with the door mostly <laughs> shut, the getting like doing bathroom stuff, whatever. I just gotten out of the shower, and you're sitting on the couch, and you say something as it, and the, the tone of voice as if I was sitting right next to you on the couch, and then you, and then I stick my, I open the door, stick my head on, and I say, I'm sorry. What did you say? And you, oh, I'm nothing. five feet away from you. Nothing. But it's still the door is shut, and I'm in the middle of doing door. something. I'm not sitting, listening, waiting. Is he gonna say something to me? No, I'm in the middle. I'm focused on what I'm doing. Okay. So annoying. <laughs> Alright, what's your next? Number two <laughs> is the word like. Like. Mm, yeah, Sometimes when like we're talking, I like think that I'm like talking to a like 19 year old like valley girl because you just say like all the time. You can't even say valley girl anymore because it is just infiltrated society in general, so this is just a generation yeah. thing. But not even a gen my generation. But it's, <laughs> it's so it's bad. Contagious. It's, your stupid shaker bottle <laughs> just is always on the counter. Is uh, plastic, I have a thing where I really dislike plastic. In the, I don't know, I just don't yeah. like plastic in our, how, our home. I understand some places it's unavoidable. For example, a shake, like a protein shaker after the gym, bottle after yeah. the gym. But the thing is, it never gets put away. Yours is always this bright red shaker bottle that just lives on the counter and it makes me absolutely crazy. Jesus, number three. Matt is quite possibly the worst person to watch a movie or TV show with because it doesn't matter what's happening. It could be the sweetest, most sentimental, tear-jerking scene in a movie, and he has to break into, well, I don't do believe, I don't know, the lighting, look at that lighting, that, wait a minute, continuity. For example, what was that Nicole Kidman movie we just watched? Boy Erased? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That scene where she's like, they're in the restaurant and she's talking to him and like she's getting teary eyed. Oh, so in it. And then here he comes, bam! Starts talking about her acting. Which was cl complimentary. I was, but it still was like, why do you have to talk about the fact that she's acting? I was so, like, I was living that moment. I was in that movie. But I waited until the scene was over. I, she, I, the whole time I wanted to say something because it was so good and it was, it was, and, and Which is in itself is distracting because I can feel your energy. I, but I've watched, well, we'll notice it. I don't know, but it was, she was great in that scene. And then, I, but I waited for it to be over and I was like, and that's why she's Nicole Kidman. Oh, I can't help it. But keeping in the kitchen. Mm. Is all my wrongdoings are in the kitchen. <laughs> you love to just dump your stuff on the kitchen counter. So there's always a pile of lottery tickets, sunglasses, keys, baseball caps, dirty baseball caps with sweat rings around. Which them. usually my stuff is inside the baseball cap. It doesn't matter. That's even bigger. Than, little purse. So now you're taking up this much space. My on the baseball cap. hat is not that big. Blue. That's not how big I said. I said this big. Yeah, my baseball hat's not that big. Yes, with the bill and the thing. If you measure from pinky to pinky, that's a big head. I'm not talking about the head part. I'm talking about you have to include the bill. You can lower it. No, you're so ridiculous. My next pet peeve is the oral noises you make when you chew. It's very loud. It's, it's like munching and slurping, but I, don't, I can't even make it because like the top of your mouth, your mouth is so big inside. Take a, a, a balloon and put a bunch of pudding in it and then add a little air and just like... Since the day that I've known you, you seem to exist on your own timeline. It doesn't matter what time we're supposed to be somewhere or what we're supposed to be. What it, everyone will be ready and sitting in the car and you'll cut, like running around the house doing who knows what. We've probably talked about this before, but you then are like always want to make a stay, and you'll say, "Well, I have to close up the house and close up the windows." And I've made it a point that I've been like, "All right, I'm going to go around. I'm going to make sure the doors are locked. I'm going to make sure the windows are all shut. I'm going to do all this so he can't be like, blah, 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 blah. and even if all that stuff is done, it doesn't matter. It's well, I had to poop. Well, I could I couldn't find my socks." Well, I don't know, my, my sunglasses, my gla I couldn't find my glasses. Where were my glasses? Well, I don't know, Blue, where'd you leave your glasses? They would have been on the kitchen counter had you not moved them. Why did I not brush my teeth and not my pants? It's not just in the morning. It's, it doesn't matter where we're going, what time of day, you are always... Listen, sometimes if Matt and I leave the house at different times, I will come home and doors will be unlocked. No way. When are you kidding? The last time you left the house after I did, I came home and the front door was unlocked. <gasps> no Windows way. are open. Yes, you're lucky that's where your dog hangs out. He was guarding it at least. But yes, that's why I'm always the last one out of the house. I always double check everything and then I'm the last one out. Sorry if I care about my home, my family. When he corrects my grammar. It's so irritating to me because <laughs> it's the difference between like if I, if I call, um, uh, a oh, pallet, a pellet, pellet, pallet, pallet, pellet. No, even though he knows what I'm talking about, he just has to jab it and say, you mean, you're saying it wrong. You mean a pallet? You mean a pellet? And he says you it also, with that condescending <laughs> tone. <laughs> it's so weird. You went to that you do it all the time. But, pallet and pellet uh -huh. and windowsill. You call it a Win window seal. But, but the thing that you don't realize is that I always like, Maybe you do, I don't know, maybe you don't make fun of me for saying that, but I always kind of slur and slur my words or like mince words because I like say them faster than I can actually say them and like my thoughts don't come out. So that's something I feel like I've struggled with ever since I was in speech therapy as a child. So you're basically bullying me because oh I Oh my speech. gosh, you are <laughs> not like this guy. Did you know, fun fact about 35 me. 35 years ago, I'm a poor little wee babe in speech therapy. <laughs> You are a an extreme micromanager. 
No, Sam. Sometimes I'm watching you do it to the kids, and I'm so annoyed for the kids. <laughs> I think literally today. Girl, I get so annoyed. With literally you. today, at one point, you were literally sitting there like this while Rosa was eating. No, you need a bite of banana now. I did not. <laughs> do that. It's so not that. true. But you literally were oh. leaning on the table, just watching her eat. I was like, that you know, poor girl. I was pep talking her about having a good day. <laughs> Baby, I was. The big. banana thing wouldn't be a thing if you would just let them eat the banana. But he slices their banana. Bananas. These kids don't know how to open a banana. And she had five banana things shoved on the floor all the way up to, you know, like the mouthpiece on the fork where it connects to the handle. It was pushed all the way up to there and she's gonna shove all that in her mouth at once. Fair. And so I told her no. Matt is a severe tailgater. Fair. And how many tickets Fair. have you gotten for that in your lifetime? No, not since my 20, my early 20s I got two. Okay, so he got two tickets for tailgating in his early 20s and now he's double that age and he still hasn't learned. You'll be driving with him and he's so close to the car in front of him he can't see the lights of, uh, of the cars in front of no. him. No. And then everybody will stop and his response time is not as fast as the car in front of him. So it's always like a jolt or a jerk or just like... Ugh! And then he gets pissed off because he thinks you're overreacting. No, I've gotten a lot better than I used to be. I've gotten a lot better, but I do think a lot of it is from like years of driving in LA. I think there's just, I do. I think that it's, well, maybe I was that way. Matt, you today. haven't lived in LA since 2013. <laughs> I don't care. I feel yeah. like I have to do more things that annoy you then. Listen, this what video said. This video can only be so long. Right? This is true. So There's only so many hours in the day, right? <laughs> we had to limit it somewhat. <laughs> but you know what, Matt? It's okay, because I still love you. I same. Mm, I still love that's you. That's good. Even with your squiggly little gray hair that's hanging down in your forehead. Got, I'm curious. Like, what are some of your biggest pet peeves? What drives you crazy? What makes you mad? Like, mad like Alice in Wonderland mad. Not mad like angry. I can say. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the membrane. Okay, we got John's hot in here. Maybe All right. We need to take our clothes off. Ooh. Ooh.